Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. Today is Thursday the 21st and we have the markets mostly mixed here today. Let's turn over to the Grain Hedge trading platform and see where we closed off the day. Corn and wheat both trading higher with corn up four and a half cents. Wheat in Chicago up eight cents and soybeans trading down three and a half cents on the day. Let's talk a little bit about export sales this morning. First, we had we had two real types of export sales. We had the weekly report, but we also had some reportable sales out this morning. 203,000 metric tons of old crop, or excuse me, of corn sold to unknown destinations. 152,000 metric tons of that was old crop. We had 50,000 metric tons of that new crop. So this was very positive to see uh, out this morning in conjunction with the weekly export sales report. Let's dig into those weekly numbers here. You'll notice corn came out 812,000 metric tons. That was on the high side of analyst expectations here. So it beat, it really beat analyst expectations and we had that reportable sale. I think both of these uh, kind of played into this uh, this movement here in corn a little bit higher today. These are positive demand figures. When you look at soybeans here coming in 165,000 metric tons expectations anywhere between 100 to 250,000 metric tons. So soybeans didn't didn't really outperform anything, but really any export sales at this point in the marketing year really is viewed as a positive. We've already booked a significant amount of soybeans and we'll take a look at that. We'll dig into the cumulative export sales here in the next slide, but take a look at wheat here coming in with 74,000 metric tons. Analysts were expecting anywhere from cancellations of 200,000 metric tons to sales of 50,000 metric tons. We are wrapping up this marketing year for wheat. Uh, we'll be moving into new crop. We'll talk a little bit about new crop in just a moment, but let's take a look at these cumulative totals, where we are in terms of meeting USDA expectations. You'll notice for corn here, we booked 42.3 million metric tons. Last year, we had 45 million metric tons, so we are behind last year's pace, but we're well ahead of the pace needed to meet USDA expectations, taking into account seasonality. Expectations right now for this week uh, would be somewhere around 41.3 million metric tons needed to be booked. We have 42.3, so we are ahead of pace. And it looks as though uh, with these export sales that continue to come in, it looks as though uh, the, the outlook here for corn demand uh, continues to be strong. When you look at soybeans, you'll notice that we have 49.7 million metric tons booked. That's well ahead of last year's pace and well ahead of the pace needed to meet USDA expectations, taking into account the seasonality. So uh, again, soybeans at this point in the marketing year, any sales that come onto the books are viewed as a positive, uh, just kind of a bonus. We're ahead of pace. We continue to run ahead of pace. Soybeans, uh, old crop in particular, I think this is one of the reasons why we've seen soybean, the chart pattern for old crop soybeans, uh, it's just not necessarily as weak as new crop soybeans. We'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the show. When you look at wheat cumulative export commitments here, you'll see we booked 23.2 million metric tons. Last year, we were at 31.8. Uh, we were expected to need around 22.8 million metric tons, so we are ahead of pace, uh, needed to meet USDA expectations, even taking into account these very, very uh, small sales that we made this week. Let's talk a little bit about new crop sales because this is where we saw a little bit of a disappointment. You'll notice new crop sales for corn uh, coming in at 80,000 metric tons. Analysts were expecting between 50 to 200, so we were on the low side of expectations. Soybeans came in with 77,000 metric tons. That was below analyst expectations, which ranged from 100, 150 to 350,000. And wheat coming in 128,000 metric tons of, of, uh, of new crop sales. Excuse me, these are all new crop sales. Um, which is below the analyst expectations of between 200 to 350 thousand metric tons. Bottom line here, new crop sales disappointed this week. And I think one of the things that we can take away when you look at this new crop chart, uh, take a look at this November soybean chart. You'll notice uh, that we're breaking through these lows that we set back there in late September, early October. This is a continuation of this downtrend. And really since Christmas time, we've been drifting lower. And I am a little bit concerned with us breaking through those lows that it opens up the door for maybe a 30 to 50 cent move lower here for soybeans. A pretty bearish piece of news that came out this morning uh, for, for Brazil's agro consult. They've raised their soybean crop estimate here 
to 96.1 million metric tons, up from 95.8 million metric tons. That's for soybeans. So it looks as though that South American crop, which was estimated to come in at a very large level, significantly larger than last year, it continues to grow. And that will continue to put pressure here on the grains. Not only that, but we also saw the corn crop increase their forecast, or we saw the Brazil Agroconsole increase their forecast to 30.7 million metric metric tons up uh, from 30 uh, or excuse me for up from 29 million metric tons in their previous forecast so those South American crops continue to outperform there that's going to weigh on the grains going forward other than that guys that wraps up today's show if you have any questions about what we talked about today please give the office a call numbers 877-472-4607 if you haven't done so already take a demo of that 14 day free trial see what it's like to have live quotes in the palm of your hand on that Android or Mo or Apple uh, mobile device. It's a great way to keep an eye on what the market's doing and not miss out on any opportunities throughout the day when you have this sort of volatility. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you here on Friday for the weekly wrap up.